It's been 35 years since Florence Griffith Joyner, also known as Flojo, set the 200-meter world record of 21.34 seconds in the final of the Seoul 1988 Olympics. Since then, the record has become a symbol of something unbeatable as the world's best women sprinters have tried and failed to surpass it. However, in the last two years, one woman has come closer than anyone to besting Flojo's legendary mark, becoming the fastest 200-meter runner alive in the process. Jackson's rise in the 200-meter has been amazing. Originally a 400-meter specialist, the Jamaican's descent into the sprints paid off early as she won Olympic 100-meter bronze and 4 by 100 meter relay gold at Tokyo 2020. But it is in the 200-meter that the 29-year-old has really excelled, and her performances at the last two World Athletics Championships have been remarkable. The Jamaican has edged closer to the legendary mark of Flojo, achieving the second fastest time in history at August's World Athletics Championships in Budapest with the time of 21.41 seconds. The 200-meter Diamond League final could be the 29-year-old's best chance of breaking one of Flojo's records. Fans were on world record watch for the 200-meter world champion, heading into Eugene, but after winning the 100-meter Diamond League trophy in 10.70 seconds on September 16th, Jackson seemingly didn't have much left in her legs a day later, and the Jamaican's latest attempt at Flojo's world record fell short. But she did break the meet record and win the Diamond League title in 21.57 seconds. Coming around the curve, Jackson had established her first place position, and she dominated the rest of the way. She finished 0.53 seconds ahead of Marie-José Ta Lu, who finished in a season-best 22.10 seconds. Anthonique Strachan of the Bahamas placed third in 22.16 seconds. Americans T.T. Terry, 22.21 seconds. Kayla White, 22.49 seconds. And Jenna Prandini, 22.68 seconds, finished fourth, sixth, and seventh, respectively. Florence Griffiths Joyner's world record of 21.34 seconds from the Seoul Olympics set in 1988 survives for another year, but Jackson will undoubtedly challenge it again next season at the Olympic Games in Paris. For Jackson, the victory concluded an unbeaten season that included the gold medal at the World Championships, as well as the second fastest time in history, and two Diamond League trophies in the 100-meter and 200-meter.